morning, good morning. Hope all is well with you. Hope your day started off good today. Hope you are uh, trying to stay as much as you can. Social distancing and all of the rest of that good stuff that uh, we're encouraged to do during this season. Today I wanted to talk to you about, hey, Brother Morgan Dwayne, this is my God brother. What's happening, man? What's going on with you? I wanted to, uh, to share with you something that uh, I think would be helpful um, to those of us who are followers of Jesus Christ. I want to share with you what to, what to remember when you fall. Of course, James tells us um, what to do when you fall. James chapter 1, he says, when you fall into divers temptations, count it all joy. I wanted today to tell you what to remember, and I believe this will help you because what I've learned about being a follower of Jesus is that a lot of times it's not that we don't know. A lot of times we're just not mindful of it. And uh, that's why one of the things I've committed myself to do with the help of the Lord, the fact about it, I can't do it without him, and that is to share the word where it's usable, not just understandable, but that you can use it. So here are the, here are the things you need to remember when you fall. Now notice I say when you fall, not if you fall. But when you fall and I say when you fall because it is uh, inevitable in the human experience whether saved or unsaved that there's going to come a point well, where we're, you will you find yourself right now. I think uh, uh, not operating at the level God intended you to so it's not if you fall it's when and that's not being a prophet of doom. That's not discounting God's ability through the Holy Spirit to keep us. But that's embracing reality that though we are followers of Jesus, we are still uh, practices of free will. And sometimes because of our free will, we will intentionally choose to do those things that... Uh, God does not intend or doesn't line up with his will for our lives. Now you can, and I, I'm, before I get there, I want to I deal with those who will, uh, from a religious mindset, we try to discount that. It's true. That's why God sent Jesus so that the sin issue can be dealt with permanently and finally. But though sin has been paid for, he still struggled with the temptation we still struggle with the desires and passions of our flesh so when you fall I want you to consider to remember these things and I want you not only to understand them but I want you to accept them and embrace them because it will make your life a whole lot more uh, productive and guess what you remember this when you fall you get back up i think it was uh pastor donnie mcclurkin who said that we fall down but we get up so here's the first thing you've got to remember first thing you've got to remember is that god is still in your corner he hasn't abandoned you he has not uh washed his hands of you i know we are told by many people don't you play with God and I think that was said to remind us to have reverence or respect for God but the truth of the matter is there is nothing we do that shocks God there's nothing we do that causes God to uh, lose composure or causes him to become uh, what word I want to use that throws him off guard <laughs> old New Orleans term 
throw him off guard. No, he's aware of all of our issues. He knows what he's working with. So remember, God is, he's still in your corner. In fact, the body, when you think about it, in the garden, when the first sin was committed, Adam and Eve, you notice that God came looking for them. He didn't run away from them. He didn't uh, disown them. He came looking for them. And so when you fall as a believer, I want you to know that God is still in your corner. And somebody needs to be reminded of that today. Because you may have done something you said you wouldn't do anymore. You may have done something that you thought was beyond you or you had passed that only to discover you slipped or jumped and uh, the enemy's messing with your mind thinking that God has written you off and don't let something bad happen oh God and you show sure enough think God is done with you but he's still in your corner hold on to this statement God is not done with you because of what you've done God is not done with you because of what you've done. That's the first thing. The second thing you've got to remember is that when you fall, there's going to be damage. When you fall, when you go outside of God's will, there's some things that are going to be damaged. Damage your reputation. can damage uh, relationships. That can very well happen. Well, you say, well, Bishop, where's the encouragement in that? Because just because there's damage does not mean there's destruction. You got to remember now, God is in the business of reconciliation. If that's what we desire. God can restore. God can reconcile if that's what we desire. And if that's what is supposed to be the dynamics of that relationship. I say that because sometimes... A fallout in a relationship that wasn't supposed to be can be the best thing to happen. It's an unfortunate exit, way to exit, but nevertheless, sometimes it can be the best thing. But for those relationships that you know are ordained by God, those relationships that are in keeping with God's purpose for your life, when those relate, when you fall, you make a mistake something happens know that there'll be damage but it doesn't have to be destruction because god is in the business of reconciliation restoration the third thing i would like you to remember when you fall is that god can and will use your mess and turn it to a message God can and will use your mess and turn it into a message. Preacher asked me one time, said, Clark, why are you so transparent? And uh, I cringe when I hear people say, well, I ain't going to tell all my business because I know what that means. Nobody's going to tell all their business. But most times, not all the time, most times when people say that, what they're saying to you, what they're saying is oftentimes I'm going to I'm going to protect what you think about me by not telling you the truth about me. <laughs> I want to protect what you think about me by not telling you the truth about me, which oftentimes mean I'm more concerned about my reputation than I am my character. So know that when you fall, God can take that mess and use it as a message. If you're willing to let him do that. So I want you to embrace that today. Again, when you fall, not if, but when. When your humanity shows up for whatever reason. Or when the old you uh, leads the way. Whatever happens, whatever the cause. Know number one, that God is still in your corner words of that poet who was among us at one time brother Tupac 
He ain't mad at you. Why? First of all, he's not shocked because he knows his children and he knows you. Number two, he's in your corner, number one. Number two, there'll be damage, but there won't be destruction. God's got you. It may hurt a little bit, but you'll pull on through that. Go on and endure that. And then he'll take your mess and turn it into a message. I'm a living proof that he'll do it. Trust me. He'll do it if you let him. All right, y'all. Take care of yourselves today. Have a good day. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get on tomorrow. If I don't see y'all tomorrow, happy Thanksgiving. And enjoy yourself. And when you finish dining, make sure you get some exercise in. Because I'm convinced, y'all, being healthy is being holy, too. So all my holy, oh, hell kind of people, God bless you. But remember, <laughs> when you up there talking about people better live right, and they, we need to, keep in mind that uh, that being overweight, not taking care of yourself, that's a lack of discipline. And that's a sin too. But I don't want to get into that. All right, enjoy yourself today. Remember, your body is God's temple. You got to respect it. But it's God's too. You got to maintain it. All right, y'all. God bless. Wait, let me see who's on here. Take these glasses off. Hey, sunshine. Sister Jenkins. All right, Rhonda Tate. Hey, Ron. Kimberly Robinson. It was good seeing you yesterday, Sister Kimberly, at the Love in Action, Grab and Go. Danielle Parker, always good to see you, sis. Big bro, I'm going to call you as soon as I get off, man. All right. Yes, indeed. God bless you, Sister Jackson. God bless you. Thank you for that. It's good to know sometimes what you're saying, what God gave you to say. When people can acknowledge that that's what they need. All right, y'all. I holler. Peace.